Hi ladies, I am back with another video. This isn't about wigs or hair. This video is about a brand of makeup that I've been making purchases from and I have come to realize this is an incredibly mature woman friendly line of makeup. It is marketed toward, um, I would say, the millennials, but it is not marketed toward the mature woman. And I think the brand is making a huge error because this stuff is ridiculously mature skin friendly. I am wearing a face full of this today. Not the eyes, though. The eyes are different. Um, my skin looks really good. And I will tell you about the brand. The brand is Glossier. And they are, I believe they're based in Manhattan. There's one store that is in Manhattan. But for the most part, it's all, um, you can purchase it from Beautylish or from the Glossier website. And what makes this brand so mature skin friendly. It is so stinking hydrating that it's insane. Now, I will say that there's one product of theirs that I did buy a while ago and I wasn't crazy about it. But now that I've just started using it more, I like it. And I'll get to what the product is in a little while. But I think that the, I think that for those of us who are, I'm not going to say suffering because my God, it's aging. Aging isn't suffering. But for those of us who are who have experienced incredibly dry skin after menopause and just in general, like we do have lines now. This makeup is not going to get rid of your lines. So that's it. It's not, but what it's going to do is it's going to really plump up your skin and make it feel so hydrated and you're going to get a nice luminous glow. I mean, my skin looks incredibly dewy and off camera, it's even more dewier. It's just really got a nice finish. So let me start on the products and what I've used first. Now, after moisturizing my face and using Embryolisse as a primer, I used this Glossier Future Dew. This Future Dew is, it's called an oil serum hybrid. Oil serum hybrid. I don't know what it, uh, you know, like whatever it is. This is great stuff. Now, when you open it up, oh God. It smells so, it smells like tea and it smells like rosemary. It's just got a really lovely scent. So here's how she looks. She's got a slightly um, flesh tone color. And when you rub her into the skin, See, there's like this kind of luminous glow. Like it's really, really nice. And under makeup, I'm going to put more on. Under makeup, it just really, it really adds that just that subtle, subtle touch that your skin is glowing. It's really, really good. I love the pump bottle. Any pump bottle makes me a happy person. And this is stir like this is really sturdy. This gets an A on packaging as well because there are some um, Glossier products where the packaging drives me up a stinking wall, and I will get to that. But this was under my face makeup. Now I wear this under foundation, but the next product that I'm going to talk to you about. is this. This is Glossier's Perfecting Skin Tint. 
This is not a foundation. I liken it a lot to the MAC body and face or face and body foundation because it's like a second skin and it's more, this is more, I would say this is more of a CC cream. It's really not a foundation and they don't toot it as a foundation. It's just like a skin tint. Now, again, I like the packaging of this because it's got this, comes in a plastic bottle with this little drip squeeze top. Here we go. Now, this shade is, uh-oh. I don't have the shade, but, oh, it is. I'm sorry. It's G10. G10. It's just slightly darker than my skin, but when you rub it in, I mean, you can, you would never know that it was slightly darker than my skin. And here is the finish. Now you can see my freckles. My wrinkles are still here. But look, oh, I'm going to give myself, did you ever see the movie Brazil with the facelift? And here we go. It is like a second skin. And there is a luminosity with this. Now, do I wear this every day? No, because there are days when I really do need foundation and I need more coverage. But for a weekend, for a day where I don't want a made up look on my face and I just kind of want a look of clear skin, this is great. And it is so moisturizing. You don't feel dry. You don't feel cakey. It's just got the greatest hydrating finish ever. Like, it's so great. I will definitely be buying this. This is definitely going to be a go-to for me, especially when I'm, I think this is really great for travel. If I'm flying and I don't want to put a lot of crap on my face, all I have to do is put this on and it will make my face look healthier and more dewy and more hydrated. This is wonderful. And if you're concerned about what shade to buy, I can honestly say just get what you think will kind of look closer to your skin color. Now they have, there, there are various shades. And I think with the darker one, I would definitely order it for the summer when I have a tan, whether it be fake or real, because I do get tan in the summer if I work at it and if I pay for it. So that's it. Now, the next product I am going to talk about is Glossier's Stretch Concealer. As you can see, I've hit pan on this one at the very bottom, but I have another one in waiting. This is that, pro this is that product. This is that product that as soon as I get to the bottom of the barrel, boom, another one is going to be ordered. This is the best hydrating concealer I have ever tried in my life. Now, this shade is G11, which is kind of weird because G11 is lighter than G10. You would think that if the number was higher, it would be darker. But this is G11, and it goes very well with my skin. What I do is I apply it underneath my eyes and right where my glasses end, to kind of give a little brightener. It does work as a concealer. Now, I know if you have oily skin, a lot of people with oily skin are not crazy about this because this is ridiculously creamy. If you have oily skin, it can be a little greasy. For me and for all those other women out there that have dry skin, this is not 
going to be greasy at all. It's just going to blend in so well. And once again, it's going to give you a nice luminosity and a nice dewy finish wherever you put it. And yes, it does conceal. Okay, now we're getting to the end of my products. And the next two are the products that I have issues with the packaging. This is cloud paint. It is a blush. Um, I'm trying to think. The color is puff. It's a light coral color. When I first got this, I was like, ooh, I don't think this is like the greatest shade for me. But now that I've been using it, like I like it. When it comes to me ordering again from Glossier, I'm going to go with a darker, more like darker rosy color, like almost like a blue red, because I know that when it goes on, it's going to go on very sheer. Like this, believe it or not, hold on, let me put a little. And therein lies the issue that I have with this product. You have to be very, very careful and you have to use a really light hand when you are squeezing this blush out or you're going to be squeezing a ton of it out. And I learned my lesson, like even just a touch gives you this much. And for a creamy blush, this is this is too much. Hold on. Like that little blush gives this much color. So you really, really have to watch it with this. But I think it's still good. If you don't like powder blushes, I tend to keep away from powder blushes, although I do have some that I really like. But my thing is a creamy blush. I do like a blush cream because I just feel that it's more hydrating and this is hydrating. And yeah, I'm wearing this, but you can hardly tell, especially in this lovely lighting. So that's the cloud paint. Next is this birthdaybomb.com. And this stuff is really great. But again, this is new and a lot of it comes out like you have to you have to really treat this very gingerly or too much will come out. I think that I mean the thing that's really good about this is you can also use this under your brow to kind of give your makeup a little bit more of a glow. Or you can use this over your highlighter to get more of a glow. I really like this on my lips because as you are all familiar with me, you know I do not like color on my lips at all. I am very neutral when it comes to lip color. I try to play my lips down because they're kind of ugly. So this is really great over a neutral lippy. But the packaging, you know, like that's the thing. Look at all these three items from Glossier have the greatest packaging ever. And I love the way that the Glossier company sends their products in this little pink bag. This is great for travel. It's great for a day at the beach. You can put your suntan lotion in here or your sunscreen. You can put your watch in here if you don't want to get it all sandy. I mean, this is, this is a great little pouch for so many uses. So that's it. I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of information on makeup brands that are mature skin friendly. Not every brand is mature skin friendly. I have used foundations that were so drying and I wasted a lot of money um, experimenting. But once you find a brand that 
goes well with your skin, with actually your skin type, you're going to stick to that brand. So my thing is, Glossier is an incredibly, incredibly mature skin friendly brand. And um, I just wish that more makeup companies would realize that their makeup is being worn by the over 50 or over 60 group because we've got the expendable cash. We're not depending on our parents to buy the makeup for us or daddy's credit card. So that's just it. I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of a really good brand of makeup for mature skin. I paid for everything. I am not sponsored. I do this because I'm on a mission to make the older woman aware that there are products out there for us. I'm kind of your guinea pig. I will go out and look and I will go out and try and I'll let you know what I think. So that's it. I'll see you later. I'll be back with another review and have a great day. Bye-bye now.